Hi guys, good afternoon to all my Manchester United fans. Good afternoon to everyone. Today is another um, weekend and as usual I am here to share a very very important transfer news to um, my audience. The information I have today, information that I have today coming from the uh, Manchester City camp is that they are going in for Jack Willis. They are going in for Jack Willis. And already, um, Aston Villa has found a replacement for Jack Willis. They have signed a Jamaican um, player called Leon Bailey to replace Jack Willis. So it simply means that the 100 uh, million fee that was quoted has been accepted by Manchester City. Manchester City have accepted to pay the 100 million um, transfer fee for Jack Willis. So it is only a matter of time that that deal will be done. That deal will be confirmed by Manchester City. So now, what is next? What is next? Manchester City want to tell everybody that though they won the Premier League last season, they were in the final of the Champions League. They are not satisfied with that. They still want more. They still want to win the, the Premier League again. They still want to win the Champions League again. And they still want to win the Champions League. And that is why they are making these signings. We don't know after signing Jack Willis who is next. Maybe they will still go in for Harry Kane. Now, this is a message to our city, to their city rival. That is Manchester United. And that is why I am here. For we Manchester United supporters to look at this transfer and look at actually what we can do in our own camp, what can we do in our own camp to compete with these people, to compete with these people who are using money to, um, who are using money to, to buy the Premier League, who are using money to um, buy all the best players that we can ever think of. We as Manchester United fans, we are going to sit down and then look at how Manchester United will be able to compete with this kind of um, competitors, this kind of people. We are going to analyze the situation in our own camp and then find ways and means, transfers that will be done that we can compete with these people. Because I strongly believe with Jagrilis, Hurricane, in this Manchester United and uh, Manchester City camp, it is going to be very, very, very tough for any opponent in the world because they will have a complete team. Already they were having three um, players, three good players in each position. And now they are going in for Jacrilis. And yet Fernandinho is not going. He's not going. He has signed another one year contract. So who is Jacrilis going to replace? Because we've not heard about um, a Man City selling any of their players. They are midfielders. So Jacrilis is only going to add to the numbers in the midfield. So that is that is a headache. That as a Manchester United fan, I am worried. Because we are so desperate to take this leak. And people that we are chasing are doing things that are doing things that is making it difficult for us to even compete with them. That is the point. So I am here for us to actually look in our own camp and see what we can do in order to Still, the Premier League from Manchester City. Now, um, I just had some information from coming out from Old Trafford today that um, Paul Pogba, Paul Pogba is saying that he have future with Manchester United, but is not willing to sign a new contract yet. This doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. It is, it is. Nonsense to me, it is unacceptable. What do you mean by you have future with Manchester United with only one year left? You are telling us that you have future with Manchester United, but it is you think you still don't want to sign a new contract. Do you, are you do you think we are kids? Do you think we are kids? We are not kids. We are not kids. If the Manchester United hierarchy. The Manchester United coach will allow you to come and play this kind of games with us. We are not going to sit down and accept this. How can you tell us that 
you have future with Manchester United and yet you don't want to sign a new contract. Do you want to... Is it a trap that you will say like, you say like that, they allow you and after six months or this, you start talking to because you are free to go. By that time, your, your, your uh, contract would have been finished. And for that matter, you have the right to do whatever you want to do. Is that what you want to do? We will not sit down to accept that. We Manchester United supporters, we will make sure that we will air our views and let management listen to us and solve this your problem that you are making it difficult for the rest of the team, for the rest of the Manchester United hierarchy and the Manchester United supporters. We are not going to sit down to allow you to take us for a ride. What do you mean? It doesn't make sense to me. If you want to sign, sign. If you don't want to sign, let them sell you and, 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 and take money. Whether it is 2 million, 3 million, let's tell you, you are ungrateful. That is what I see. But don't come and sit here and tell us that uh, I am, I, 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 I love Manchester United. I want, I want to have a future with them, but you don't want to sign. What do you mean? Where have you seen something? If you want, if you believe that you like the team, sign the contract. Sign the contract and let's move elsewhere. Sign the contract and let the coach focus on other things. But you don't keep saying that, oh, I want to, I love Manchester United, I want to play for Manchester United, I have a future with Manchester United, and yet you don't want to sign your contract. What, what do you want to tell us? We are not kids, and we are not going to sit down. Like I said the other day, you are not going free this time. Whether players, when they are going free, they make money or not, I don't know. If players go uh, uh, free transfer, they are making a lot of money, and you want to do that, you are lying. We will sell you, even if it level one day. Even if it level one day or 30 seconds, we are going to sell you. We are not going to let you go free transfer, so that whatever money you want to make as a free tra uh, agent, we will not do that. We will sell you. So, if you want to sign, if you don't want to sign, say that you are not signing. Be, be plain, plain and tell the board that you are not signing, so that we, we know what to, to do. I've already heard that we are also monitoring Saul from Atletico Madrid. And that player is a very good player. So, make your mind. Make your mind. Already, I was talking about we selling you and buying Jagrilis. But now, it's like Jagrilis is on its way to Manchester City. So, we have other targets. We have other targets, so just make it plain, plain to us that I am not going to sign a new contract. I hate talking about this. I am tired of talking about this, your issue. Your issue is worrying we Manchester United supporters, and we are not going to accept that. You are not going for free. Even if it's left with 30 minutes for your contract to expire, we will still sell you. We will still sell you. So don't think that if you are making money or have been a free agent, you are going to do that again. We are not going to accept it. We will sell you, even if you left with one minute for your contract to expire. We will sell you. That is what I want all Manchester United fans. Let's come together and make sure this Pogba issue is solved once, is resolved once and for all. We don't want the league to start and Paul Pogba case is not resolved. We don't want any interference. We don't want anything that will disturb the other members of the team. We want a settled Manchester United team. We want a, a Manchester United team that is settled to play for the Premier League, to play for the Champions League, to play for the FA Cup, not to have any distraction from any player. That is what I am here to, to talk about. This Paul Pogba issue is worrying, and we are not going to accept that. If you want to go, go. If you want to go, go. Let's sell you. There are other midfielders that are equally good like you. We will go and buy them. And stop telling us that... Uh, you, 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 you have future with Manchester United, but you don't want to sign this in. What kind of double uh, standard is that? What kind of behavior is that? We are not going, like I'm saying, I have been saying, I have been championing about this, your issue that we have to sell you, whether you like it or not. We will sell you if you don't want to sign the contract and your, it is left with 30 minutes for your contract to expire. We will still sell you. So that whatever money that you want to make as a free agent, you will not get it. What is all this? What is all this? I don't know whether the management of um, Manchester United, they, 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 they are thinking about the way, they are thinking like the way I'm thinking here. Because this guy wants to take it for a ride. If you want to sign, sign. If you love the club, sign. Don't sit down and be telling us that because of uh, uh, you love the club. What I read this morning 
on Sky Sports was very, very annoying. How do you mean by you, you love this? Uh, you, are, you want to have a future with Manchester United, and yet you, you understand or you, 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 you like the, the way the Manchester United is moving uh, uh, forward as a, as a club, and yet you don't want to sign. What kind of uh, double standard is that? If you don't want to sign, tell us that you don't, you don't want to sign, period. We will sell you. We will sell you. Even Ronaldo left Real Madrid. They are still, they, they, they are still there. Okay? Ronaldo left Real Madrid. They are still there. So don't think that if you leave Manchester United, the team will not be there. The team will be there. And I will champion and talk about this your issue until it is resolved. If you want to sign. If you don't want, don't sign. We will sell you and buy different players to cover you up. What kind of behavior is it? What I read on Sky Sports today, the, I don't want to even uh, uh, this, uh, talk about it. But it is worrying. It is worrying. It is very, very worrying. There are players. Manchester City is buying the Grealish for hundreds million pounds. And you, you want to go to score free. You want to go to so, uh, score free. We should let you go score free and we we'll call 100 million to go and buy a player. Is that what you, you, you want us to? I don't blame Paul Pogba. I blame management of Manchester United. Because how come you allow this thing to get to where it is today? How come it has gotten to where it is? Even some time ago, this guy was not performing. Paul Pogba was not performing. That was the time for us to sell him. You nurture him, uh, he came and got injured. We, 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 you nurture him, uh, he recovered, started playing well, and then look at what he's doing. Look at what he's doing. Look at what he's doing. We are not going to allow Paul Pogba to go scot free, to go free transfer. That one, if it happens, I will be very, very disappointed. I will be very, very disappointed if only it happens. But it shouldn't. Like I said, even if it left for 30 minutes, for your contract to expire, we will still sell you, even if it is one CD. We will sell, if it is one dollar, we will sell you. That one dollar will be added to buy another player. We will not let you go scot free. I don't understand this thing at all. We only have quality players like Van de Beek. We have, um, now we have Sancho, we have um, um, Bruno Fernandes, we have Ransford. These are players that Manchester United should think about. Think about players who don't want to play for the club, not players that are thinking about money, that are thinking of leaving the club at any time. Think about the players that are there now and are willing to stay with the club and perform. These are the players that we need, not players like the Portugal, who had is hanging around like, what kind of... Like I said, it's a distraction to the rest of the team and we will not sit down to do that because we have an opportunity to win the Premier League this season. And we shouldn't allow anything that will come as a distraction to the team. If Paul Pogba wants to go, he should go. Let's sell him. Like I said, even if it left with one, one minute for the contract to expire, we will sell you. Even if it is two dollars, we will sell you. You are not going scot free. We will never allow that thing to happen. We will never allow it to happen. And if it happens, I will be very, very disappointed. I'll be very, very worried. I'm telling you the truth. I'll be very, very worried. So my Manchester United supporters, let's be on the lookout about this Paul Pogba issue. He's worrying us. He's worrying the club. And I don't know why the club will not dispense this player off. They should dispense him. They should sell him. Whatever amount that we get, we should take. But don't allow this player to go scot free. Don't allow him to. You can't go and buy player 80 something million. He will come and he will not. We are, he has not giving us anything to show for the 89 million that we bought him or 95 or the 93 or 95 million dollars since he came to manchester united what has he done to give us that 93 uh, um, uh, million that we used to buy to 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 uh, buy him huh when when kai Havertz went to chelsea they paid 72 million pounds everybody was talking about the money he he scored a goal and they won the champions league that is what we mean when you spend you get reward what has paul pogba did for us what did since he returned with that 93 million what did he do to pay us back for paying that money for him 
what has Manchester United achieved apart from the Europa League and uh, 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 community shield and those clubs? What proper trophy that Portugal has helped the team to achieve that he is he wants to take us for granted? He wants to take us for ransom. When they pay a huge sum of money, instead of you to reason and also try and pay back to the club and let the and, and, and let the club know that they did not make a mistake by pitching, by buying you. Look at what you are doing. Kai Havertz was paid seventy two only one year, only one one season. He has won, he scored a goal and then the 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 even if he's not performing again, at least he has done something. He has scored a goal and then won the Champions League. You what have you done? And all the time, anytime there's transfers, it's a problem. Anytime there's a transfer, there's a problem. We went to play uh, RB Leipzig in Germany, a very uh, uh, important match. Your your agent, your agent was there saying rubbish, saying things that um, um, you don't want to. Your future is not with Manchester United. It affected the team, and we went and lost. You were you were put on the bench because of what your your agent said. What your agent said, the coach has no job other than to put you on in the on the bench. And later on, what happened? We were defeated three two. And even when you came in, you played well. And we were all saying that if like you were you started the game, it could have helped Manchester United. But because of what your agent said, the coach has no choice but to put you on the bench because he he was confusing your mind. And if you are not fully concentrated, fully uh, prepared to play a match, the coach has no right to fix you, to let you start. That was the reason why we lost the match against RB Leipzig and we are out of the Champions League. So what is it? What is it that you and your, 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 your agent is doing to Manchester United? Why? Remember you are only one person. You. One, person doesn't, one player doesn't play a team. A team is made up of so many players coming together to play like a team. That is why they call it a team. It doesn't. A team is not. Um, a football is not played with individual skills. Okay, individual skills can only win you some one match here and there, but it can never pick, take take you win any trophy. Manchester Manchester City is winning trophy because they play like a team. They play like a team. So don't. Destroy the club. If you want to leave, go to the office of Ole and tell him that I don't want to. I will not come to training. I want to move. You can force your transfer. Let them. Let them sell you and stop doing what you are doing. You laugh. What I read on at Sky Sport today was very annoying. You don't have to say that. You don't have to say that you love the club and yet you don't want to sign the decision. I don't want to hear you saying something like you you understand the way the club is going forward, but you you still don't want to sign your. Your, your no. When do you want to sign? Do you want to, 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 to do you want your contract to expire and we, we will sign you as a new person again or what? We are not going to accept that. We at we Manchester United supporters will not accept that. We love the club so much, and any time that affects the club, it affects us. So we will not allow people who want to destroy the club to destroy us. Not players, not players. Every player is dispensable. Alex Ferguson sold David Beckham. He sold. And Ronaldo, the great Ronaldo, he saw Ronaldo, he saw Gabriel Hens, he saw so many data where so many better players that Alex Ferguson sold. Because it got to a stake, even Van Nistelrooy, it got to a stake, he think that the even the great Eric Antonia, he sold him. Because it got to a stake that he realized that these key players were not helping the club anymore. So he had to sell them. He had to sell, um, he sold some of them. So you don't have you don't have the right to be destroying or poisoning the rest of the players. We must sell you. You are not going for this thing scot free. I don't know why this thing. Go to the coach office. Tell him that I'm not coming for. Or write a letter. Write a request for trans transfer. And let them transfer you. Okay? We are not going to sell you. You are not going for scot free. If there's any money you are thinking of going to scot free to go and take it. We are not going to allow you to do that. We will sell you, even if it left with 30 minutes, for, for your contract to expire so that you go as a free transfer. We will, free agent, we will sell you at that minute, even if it is $2 or $3. We will sell you. That is all that I want to listen. So, all my Manchester United um, supporters, let's come together. Let's come together. Let's share. Let's comment. 
let's let the big men know about this proper issue that it is worrying the club it is affecting the club if you want to go let's sell him big men let's sell him and buy new players manchester city is buying the grillist let's sell him and find different player and buy because of what i read this morning on sky sports that he loved the club and he's still waiting for who are you do you think you are god we don't do that manchester united is too big to accept those things when the coach does something wrong, everybody is lambasting him left and right. But you as a player, when you do something, you think people will not talk. If you don't want to sign, let go to the coach office and tell him that, I don't want to sign, I'm not going to play. He will call management and tell them that this is what he said. And they will sell you. Stop doing what you are doing. It is hypocrisy. That is what I, uh, I think. Alright. Thank you very much. And I know what I'm saying. A lot of you will agree. A lot of Manchester United supporters will agree with me that for power issue have to be resolved as quickly as possible before the league starts. That is what I am expecting. Thank you very much and may God bless us again. Bye-bye.